Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at iTop Screen Recorder, which claims to do more than screen recording. And uh, with that, we're going to take a look in through and through. But let me just be transparent from the beginning of this video. I was not paid in money to make this video, but I was given a license key for it and brought to me by emails from the company itop itself so we will take a look through and through with it today i'm going to start with a free download after it downloads i'm going to insert the license key and uh, see how that goes and take looks through it and the link will be in the description by the way i don't make any money or anything by whether you click my link or you go directly to the site just to make these things clear i We'll have to agree because there's no other choices here. And fully featured screen recorder. It claims to do some kind of light video editing as well. We are going to take a look at that. Powerful webcam recording, microphone recording, screen recording, and gaming recording. And we're going to do some gaming recording too. We're going to fire up one of the games, possibly Forza Horizon or something cool. And we'll take a look at that just in a second. We're going to wait for it to finish installing and we'll jump right on it. Okay, the installation is just finished. Let's go to the software. I top download in progress. Download is in progress. What does that mean? I don't need the VPN. So there is a million things that might be wrong right here i don't like when i click on one software to be bombarded with a million others i only click to install itop screen recorder and not vpn i'm just saying it's a little bit too aggressive and i have to go to the key here i'm gonna blur it real quick i'm gonna hit register and let's see where that goes successfully i can record without watermarks edit export hd videos compress videos to small size and more okay that is what we are looking for now speakers i'm just gonna go with a regular speaker okay wave 3 is now connected on my computer and uh let's see if we can find it right here or do we need to restart elgato wave 3 is right here is the other microphone the lavalier i already have it on use mouse yes webcam no full screen i'm gonna go with uh one of the monitors and not all of them okay that's all i need webcam nope only audio i don't need only audio on the game now that's where we're gonna take a look show hud i'm gonna do microphone on the game is yes, we're gonna record me while i'm uh, doing the game no webcam boost what is boost optimizer system configuration and hardware parameters for a smoother gaming experience let me see if that's included on the package or do i have to do something else it says boosting and i don't really see anything that much change but it might be good okay what is else uh screenshots you can do the mini window looks like oh that is actually nice to have a screenshot and recorder on the side for the whole time so that would be useful and this thing here i don't need this one you may be exposed no i i don't need the vpn i already have other vpns anyway files that's where you would uh save audio screenshots you can dedicate the folders to put somewhere i'm gonna put it on desktop and on desktop i'm gonna create a folder that said i top that's all very simple and that is all i'm gonna do okay as you see the folder is here and now we have the tools quick editor oh that is actually nice denoiser whoa is that included on this license denoiser would be something really useful uh for a lot of things and uh well let me record a quick clip then since we are talking about only audio here i'm gonna go with my uh elgato i guess i'm gonna go and i'm gonna leave i'm gonna turn some fan on or something and yes there is fan noise going on right now and we're gonna try to record with the fan noise really quick okay our recording is done and now we're gonna hit play and see if it has any kind of noises so we'll take a look at that this audio is being recorded with a fan noise on the background and we will see if iTop Screen Recorder Audio Recorder will clean it up for us with a fan that you might hear probably while I talk. And when I stop talking, obviously you don't hear it. That's it. Okay, in order to actually hear the noise on the background, you might need headphones. Okay, so let's go to the denoiser. Uh, let's browse for it. And here's our file. Open it up and denoise now. Of course now not tomorrow open the folder and we're gonna play the denoised audio and see if we can hear the fan on the background this audio is being recorded with a fan noise on the background and we will see if 
iTop Screen Recorder Audio Recorder will clean it up for us with a fan that you might hear probably while I talk and when I... Okay, that didn't work very well because it does that generic, what I would call electronic denoising style that changes the voice tone completely and muffles it instead of doing it like Steel Series uh, does. That they did the the sonar sonar does it good but sonar uh kills your computer if you are in a low spec computer yeah you may not be happy with that but anyway it's an option that might work for some applications why would you want to compress a video if you ask sometimes you might want to compress a video to send uh on email let's say a, a video is 150 megabytes and most of the emails will work with 25 megabytes. The reason you would put it on a 75% that video to degrade it or compress it as they call is to reduce the megabytes from 150 to 25 or 2489. You can never beat 25 sharp. 2489 megabytes without cutting the video, but in exchange, you will reduce the quality. That is the only reason you would decompress a video the same way we do decompression of PDF files, Word files, and all that stuff. Good stuff. Now we're going to start a new creation with a video. I'm going to choose one of the videos that probably I made for this channel before, and uh, we'll see how that works and uh, if it does anything good enough. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I might just put, I don't know, one of the videos I've done before and a million years ago. Uh, we'll put this one here. So it looks like we have does it yeah it drags and drops so that is that is good okay i appreciate that part we're gonna take a look at their uh video editor real quick before we jump to the screen recording with a game and microphone and all that going on and see how the quality comes after that but first okay video editor let me get rid of this one here this is the video let's put it on the timeline that okay it doesn't snap but it catches we put up here okay so it does uh filmora style if you hold the left of the mouse here on the timeline timer it will expand or zoom in and out i like that i'm so used with that and you have to just click through or drag the needle it doesn't have live uh needle drag but that is fine the quality looks to be pretty okay, actually. And uh, let's see, for example, what effects do we have here? Or is it just to do cuts? You can, uh, let me see, if I cut it, does it have short CTRLB? Okay, yes, and it actually works. So, we are good here. Fade. What does the fade do? Does it add here? Let's try it. Oh, that's the fade in and fade out from the beginning of the video. Let's see if we fade in this portion of the video right here. Uh, let's see how it comes yeah, in. Yes, I... I Okay, it opened good, actually. I uh, I was expecting it to be more glitchy. 1.8 seconds should open quite slow. Guys, I think... That was actually very smooth. That was smooth. We have texts, and they look just regular standard text. Effects, blue sea effect. What does that do? If we put blue sea effect here, what does... 16 inch string trimmer. Uh, it, it does that kind of blur, just what it says. How about the fire? Patience. I thought well, this is going to be one of those that... Good, especially if you're doing one of those background videos. So it, it has uh, it, it, it has quite a good video editor for uh, simple video editing. I'm not talking about to make video editing in a form that you would expect Hollywood level. But not really... But it does for simple simple video editing. It does. These are the transitions that are reminding me a lot of the uh, Windows Movie Maker. If anybody here remembers that, and if you're old enough, yes, delete on the keyboard works on a it too. A really beautiful tool. And let me see, what did that transition even do? A really beautiful tool. Oh, I just uh, it 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 uh, phased it. So that works. Okay, one right here. Just tested a few. Cordless sixteen in. Yes. So they work. Filters. We have a few filters. Not that many, but that's good enough. Let me put the forest filter here. So you can apply the filter, looks like, and extend it as much as you want. And String trimmer. Let me see. Can you edit the adjust the filter itself? You can do the opacity of the filter. Let's see if it changes. It's actually a yes. So it actually works. I am. Uh, it's. I'm. I'm impressed so far so let's see let me cut some of it this we don't need this is way too big of a video ctrlb delete the last clip and we are good to go this is f uh, 50 seconds you can save the project here i'm assuming this is where you add more stuff uh, okay here are the uh, objects you had on the video at the export options 
aspect ratio 16 by 9 that is good resolution and we do 4k okay we'll try this video is not in 4k by the way and i'm gonna go with mp4 and hit export and see what it does i'm gonna do it on the just regular on desktop and we will wait till this 4k video finishes rendering i have no idea because it didn't give me an option if i'm rendering in software mode or hardware mode even though i would be glad to put nvenc nvidia on it or h264 whatever those things are but uh, it didn't give me that option i wish it had that but this is not a software made for video editing exactly it's more for screen and game recording but it's doing some other things actually really good let's wait for this to export and we will get right back okay the export has finished uh, let's close this one i think we are done as far as far as uh, their uh, video editor goes and uh, so far it was pretty good and here you can do all that stuff uh, and we close it don't show this again are you sure yes i am very sure and this is the video we just made hey guys. now let me block the sound because i don't want it to reverberate i don't see any difference let me see for a 50 second video how heavy and almost a gigabyte so it actually did a good job it, even if i wasn't approached by them would i buy this itop screen recorder i would say yes it has a lot of features that when you think about it bundled in one that's actually really good it's it's a really good deal this is a quick editor which looks like you can just do quick cuts so we're not gonna need to do all that now we're gonna go in the part of recording a game and we are right here and the speakers are gonna be our speakers microphone is gonna be our microphone and we're gonna go with this one this new visualizer key press in real time and what is this teleprompter i don't have a teleprompter so that is actually really cool so you can put a teleprompter select the topic happy birthday look at that good morning happy birthday to you we hope this holiday season brings you joy peace and comfort uh i'm not sure about that holiday season and birthday anyway but it's there <laughs> recording schedule so you can schedule your recordings that is actually written no it it definitely has really good uh features i gotta say and you can put your own watermark customize and let me put the omnitech right here say we i'm gonna leave all that other stuff as it is position uh, bottom right i would go not upper right what am i doing bottom right good okay so now we have a watermark on the game i am gonna put this on the side and we will start recording the game so now let's uh fire it up on the side let me put my microphone away okay so you guys can hear me only from the main microphone okay so we are talking about the game here this is the video start. okay so looks like it was recording and let me play just a little bit of it so you guys can hear it now okay and uh, let's fire up the game Of speed. Use it to move. It records it. possible way and let's see start now okay so it looks like on screen recorder it does a better job it catches the microphone and the game sound the microphone you may not hear a lot because i have the sound way too high but that's no fault of the software that's more fault of me now what i think i think it's actually great i think on the game part you could uh route the audio to something else it might be my speakers because these are connected manually analog these are not digital because these are my own my main studio speakers and that might have been the reason and maybe my graphics card was the limitation here because i said i have only a 1660 ti and you know forza horizon is quite high up there so that could have been something to do with it but 
besides that i think the software is really good i think this is really good you can use for sound recording webcam recording and all that good stuff so i think this is worth it and yes my elgato camera is not gonna start because i don't want it to start and how do i get rid of it oh good luck with that let me see if i can get rid of it okay here is the camera take it on the side and i'm gonna close it and with that said we will i will leave a link on the description for the software so you guys can take a look at it by yourself and see if it works for you and here are their stuff vpn i don't want the vpn we are looking for the screen recorder that is right here 60 percent off let me see for example how much would that be that would be 39.99 or 40 bucks you can do one month 19 dollars a month for one pc one year 23 percent off 32 dollars per month per pc and that one year for three pcs 40 dollars which uh 32.99 so that's that's okay recording and editing i think it's worth it if you don't have anything else especially it does a lot of things that are very valuable in my opinion so you can go take a look i will leave a link in the description for the software so you guys will have fun with it and with that said please hit like and subscribe and we will see you next time bye <laughs>